Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the roots and rules in Odo 16 inventory module. The route is the way which helps us to track the movement of the item from the purchase point to the inventory point and from the inventory point to the delivery point. Which means the routes are the way which we use to purchase and sell the item. When using the inventory terms, we can say that routes are certain push and pull rules. Routes are actually a collection of rules and these rules tell the routes what to do further. Let's move forward to the inventory module and see how the routes and rules are configured and how it works. Okay guys, so now let's go to the inventory module and see how the routes and rules are been configured. For that, let's open the inventory module first. Okay, and we have to make sure that you have already enabled the multi-step routes inside the configuration settings. So let me get inside the configuration settings. And if you scroll down under the warehouse section, you can see the multi-step routes as well as the storage location. So make sure you enable the multi-step routes. So after enabling it, save it. Okay, so only if you save it under the configuration, you can see the routes, roles and all. Okay, so here are the routes. You can see all the routes which are pre-configured inside the system. If you want to create a route separately, you can simply click on create. We'll come to that. Then here we have the rules. Okay, so all these, I mean, rules together is called a route actually. So inside a route, we have certain rules also. So I'll show you how to create a route, a rule as well. And then we have the warehouses. So let's open the warehouse. And I'm going to create a new warehouse actually. Okay, so here's the name. I'm changing the name to warehouse a okay so the name is warehouse a so let's give a short name for the warehouse as well so i'm giving it as w a okay or simply i can give it as w h a and i'm saving it i'm not changing anything else okay i'm just creating a new warehouse so i'll create one more warehouse okay so let's remove all these and name it as warehouse B. Okay. And let's give the name as WHB. I'm doing the same thing, saving it. And let's create one more, which is warehouse C. Okay. And let's provide a short name for this one as well, which is WHC. Okay. And save it. Okay. So for now, we've created three warehouses, which is warehouse A, B and C. So the next step which you have to do is create a route for these three warehouses. Okay. So we have to create a route, uh, like a common route for all these three warehouses. Okay. So, um... First thing I'm going to do is go to configuration and here we have routes. Creating a route. So I'm giving the name as route for BWH, which means three warehouses. Okay, we'll give it in caps. Okay, so here you have the sequence. Okay, as you can see, here's the sequence. If you want to provide a sequence for this particular route, you can specify that here. And then you have the supplied warehouse. So you can choose which is the supplied warehouse here. Okay, you have warehouses like warehouse A, B, C and all. So let, I'm not choosing anything right now. Then you have the company, the product categories, enable this thing, the warehouse, the sale order lines and all. Okay, so it has to be applicable on, that is as you can see, when checked, the route will be selectable on the product category. Similarly, we have warehouses, sale order lines and products. Now here comes the rules. Actually, we are going to set four rules corresponding to this route. Okay, so I'm going to click add a line and the first rule I'm going to name it as rule one. Okay, so this is the rule one and the action we are going to perform is pull from. Okay, so we are going to pull from. That is the action, which is rule one. Then we have the operation type. So under operation type, I'm going to choose delivery orders. Okay. And you have the source location. So slow, I mean the source location, I'm changing it to W H A. 
stop. Okay, so this is uh, related to the first warehouse which we created. And you have the destination location, so I'm putting it to partner custom. Okay, and this is take from stock. That is a fund available. Trigger another rule. So I've set it the rule like this. Now here you can see the rule that is when products are needed in partner customer, delivery orders are created from WHA stock to fulfill the need. If the products are not available in WHA stock, a route, I mean a rule will be triggered to bring products in this location. Okay. So this is the rule which we set. That is the first rule. Now here um uh, we have a lot of things, so I'm not going deep into that. Let's save this and close it. So the first rule is set. Next, we have the second rule. I'm going to name it as rule 2. So here we have the action. Setting the action as pull from. And the operation type, I'm giving it as internal transpose. Okay, so here uh, the source location, I'm changing it to. We have another warehouse, which is warehouse B, right? So W H B stock. Okay, so the source location will be warehouse B's stock and the destination location will be the warehouse A stock itself. Let it be there. And then the supply method that is we'll be uh, taking from the stock and if unavailable, trigger another route. So basically what we are doing is if a product is not there in one warehouse, we'll be taking it from the other. It's such a method, okay? So the rule is simply defined here that is when products are needed in WA stock, Internal transfers are created from WHB stock to fulfill the need. If the products are not available in WHB stock, a rule will be triggered to bring products in this location. So for now, the second rule is also set. So I'm going to save and close it. Then we have the third rule. So I'm going to name it as rule 3. Okay, click on add a line. Then here we have the name. I'm going to name it as rule 3 okay now here you have the action so the action is going to be pull from the operation type is going to be internal transfer okay then we have the source location so the source location is going to be w h c stock and the destination will be w h B stock. WHB stock. Okay. So here, take from stock and I'm saving it and closing it. Okay. Finally, we have one more thing. So before that, I have to change one thing. So in inside the role two, instead of giving WHA, I've given WH, WA stock. So I'm just changing it and saving it. So as you can see, these are the three rules which we created. One final rule is also required. So I'm going to name it as rule four. Okay, so this is rule four. And the action I'm going to set as buy. Now, if the products are not available in all these three places, what we are going to do, we are going to buy the product. Okay, so I'm putting it as buy. So when it's buy, obviously the operation type will be receipts, right? Now the destination location will be the W h c stock and then to save it save and close so before saving it here you can see the rule that is when products are needed in whc stock a request for quotation is created to fulfill the need okay so this rule will be used in combination with the rules of reception rules okay so that's the concept so i've created four rules actually okay and the route is route for three warehouse Okay, so that's done. Let's save it. And next thing which we have to do is go to the products tab. Inside the products, you have to create a new product. So I'm creating a product called uh, the demo product. Okay, so we are going to perform this route and all uh, or implement all those things inside this demo product. Okay, so I've created a product called demo and if you go to the purchase tab of the product, you have the option to add a window. So as we have set a rule in such a way that if there is no product, you have to trigger a purchase order. So for that, you have to set a window. So I'm setting a window as Azure Interior. 
and the price I'm setting it to 100. Okay, that's it. Now we have the inventory tab. Under inventory tab, we have these much routes. So let's disable all the enabled ones and only enable the route which we created right now, which is route for three warehouse. Okay, so that's done. Again, I'm going to save this. Okay, so the product is created. Route is set for the product. Vendor is set for the product. After saving it, let's go to the sales module. Okay, now let's create the sale order for the demo product. So I'm going to add deco. Let's add the product, which is demo product. And the quantity, let's set it to five. So you can see the on hand is like while creating a product, the on hand will obviously be zero, right? So the product's on hand is zero. Now, after that, mm, we have the other info where we have the option to change the warehouse. So the warehouse is uh, warehouse A. Okay. So this is where our role is going to start. So I've given the warehouse as A. So if the product is not in warehouse A, it will go to warehouse B. If not in B, it will go to C. And if not in C also, what does, I mean, what happens is that uh, purchase order will be triggered. So warehouse A is given right now. The product will be taken from warehouse A. Now what you have to do is confirm it. Okay, so that's confirmed. After confirming, we have the delivery here. Okay, so as you can see, the transfers. Okay, so WHA stock to partner customers, WHB, WHA. That is from this location to this location. All these things can be seen here. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now, let's open each transfer and see. So as you can see here, the source location, we don't have any product in C also, right? So the destination location is WHB to WHC. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so here we have three delivery. Okay, that is three transfers have been created. So three transfers are created because we've given three, you know, I mean, we've created three warehouses and we've given routes corresponding to the warehouse. That is the product is taken from warehouse A. And, uh, you know, if the product is not there, it will be taken from C, then to B, then B to A and then to the partners. So that's how we've set the road. So that's the reason why the transfers, that is, you can see three transfers. And here it's very clear that is the from to and all is given very clearly. Okay. So that's it. That's all about the roots and rules. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.